Hi Cancer, how's it going? And welcome to your December general reading. This is for Cancer Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Or if you're interested in a Cancer, welcome all. I am so grateful and glad that you're here. Cancer, if you'd like to join us for your love reading, that's where we connect with the other person you're dealing with in love, romance, or in relationships. Your love reading is always the first link in the description box below. Also, Cancer, don't forget to stick around until the end of the reading where I pick one of your names at random for the pick a card, okay? It could be this time. I don't know. We'll have to wait to the end to see who wins the pick a card drawing this time. All right, my loves, Cancer, let's get right into this. Again, this is your December general reading. And y'all know the drill. Please only take what resonates and leave the rest. Eight of Swords popped out. Something's going on in the brain over and over and over on repeat. We'll take two more. Spirit, what are the best and highest messages for Cancer? Again, for December. Thank you. Nice. Y'all the magician at the bottom of the deck. Um, some of you could be seeing, this is manifestation energy, 111, 11, make a wish energy. Um, so Cancer, this is beautiful. I'm really picking up on the yellow more than anything. Very much happy, joy energy. A lot of you are very in a good place and manifesting from a good energy, calling in whatever it is you're dreaming or desiring right now. A lot of you are, yeah, planting seeds, calling things in. Um, Nine of Cups, there will be something that you call in that will come to fruition that'll make you very, very happy. It's like I've never seen the yellow in this Nine of Cups before. What's with yellow? Yellow is very significant to this group. Um, and yellow, again, is the color of, it's the happiest color. Um, happy, joy, excitement. Magician, Nine of Cups, whatever you're asking for, it's going to put a smile on your face. Okay. What's the current situation for Cancer, please? Ooh, Page of Pentacles and the Empress. Some of you might have a child or finding out um, about a pregnancy or some kind of birth here. Seven of Swords. Yeah. Yep. Seven of Swords. Um, this is definitely a situation, you all know, that first trimester, we don't really say anything about um you know if you're pregnant that's not going to clearly be for everyone it's going to be a very small message for a small group here um but for a lot of you cancer page of pentacles and the empress again with all the yellow i don't know what's going on with all the yellow like your environment is 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 happy you've you've figured out how to make yourself really happy for a lot of you or you're still learning page of pentacles a lot of you are this empress, this divine feminine, very beautiful energy, and these are offers coming in. Apologies for a group of you as well, where people have um, Seven of Swords not told their full truth, maybe lied to you about something. This is like, hey, um, hey, Cancer, you know, Page of Pentacles. Um, I want to ask you out for coffee. It's nothing big, but I want to ask you out for coffee or I want to something here. You're getting some kind of small offers because you're the empress. You're in a high power. Um, that kind of thing. You have more respect also in this situation. I don't know where this is coming from, but like, I don't know why, but like your family, your friends, your coworkers are learning how to treat you better. Oh, because you've held the line, done your, like respected yourself, um, learned really healthy boundaries, been going through like your boundary journey for a lot of you. And now it's like you're teaching everyone else or reteaching everyone else how to treat you better because you're learning how to treat yourself better. Oh, I love this. Love that. Love this for you. Crossing you is the three of wands. There's been major delays in this situation, right? Those of you starting a family, there's been delays on that. Those of you um, have maybe been waiting on these apologies, okay? Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, it would be, whatever this is, is a game changer. Game changer. Your 
your focus is the Knight of Wands, fire energy. It could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Five of Cup, or I'm sorry, Five of Pentacles. You're getting pretty ballsy. You're getting pretty brave about addressing a person or situation that you're disconnected from. You're out in the cold from someone or someone's out in the cold from you, a little bit of both, right? Knight of Wands is my player energy, but it's also my brave card. I heard brave heart when I said that. Brave heart might be a specific thing for some of you. Your focus right now, Cancer, is you're like, man, I guess I'm gonna get brave. I guess I'm gonna get brave. And I'm gonna, I'm hearing like, I'm gonna handle this. Five of Pentacles. It's like you wanna address, address something here. You're like, I'm gonna just, okay, I'm just gonna go over there. I'm just gonna make that call. I'm just gonna do it. I'm just gonna something something in hopes to come out of the cold in a situation, okay? In the recent past, you had the Eight of Wands, some kind of online activity. Some of you could have been dating online, um, talking to someone online. Um, this is lines of communication open between you and someone specifically, or you and a group of people, just really fast communication, like back and forth, very good. Five of Wands. Yeah, I feel like there there might have been some kind of beef, competitive energy, conflict with someone or a group of people, and it was best to maybe address things from a distance, right? Like instead of like physically going to someone, you're like, for now, I'm just going to text them. You know what I mean? There seems to be a, I can love you from arms, or arm's length. Is that how you say it? For some of you, you're, you're like, Something's been at arm's length for you. But very fast, very positive communication has been going on in the recent past. A lot of very inspiring, you've been very inspired also. Um, these wands are also coming from the sky, so download energy. A lot of you, Cancer, have been really been getting a lot of downloads and wands energy in a download is like, I really feel like I want to get back in the kitchen and start cooking again, or I want to be baking again, or I want to, you know, I really need to, I know it's like winter time now, but you're like, maybe you're like, I want to get back to gardening again and have my herb garden. I don't know. Like there's something that you're feeling very inspired from a very high level, high source, high vibrational place. Beautiful. I love it. In your mind, crowning you, beautiful Ten of Cups. This is a happy, happy Cancer for a lot of you. Um, or at least even if you don't like feel like you're happy, feel that you're happy. It, Ten of Cups in your mind is you focusing on being happy. Like remembering every single day that you have a choice to be happy, right? Hangman, you've definitely looked at your situation in a different perspective. And I actually think that's working working in your favor. In the near future, we have the Three of Pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn energy. This is a group coming together. It could also be two people specifically, but this is a team. This is a meeting. This is like, hey, I'm going to tell you what I have to bring to the table. Why don't you tell me what you're going to bring to the table? What are you going to bring to the table? It's like calling a meeting. It's some, y'all, it's, it's time. It might be time overdue. There's a huge decision here. Like, are we going to do this or not? Are we going to start the band or not? Are we going to lay the foundation or not? Are we going to build that house or not? You know what I mean? It's like, are we going to, are we going to do this or not? What's your power here to, I don't know why I knew this was going to come out for you. Two of pentacles, six of cups. Your power here is, um, this is kind of a little bit similar to, who did I work on earlier? Aries. Some of you could have Aries in your chart or be dealing with an Aries. Um, Six of Cups. Your power here right now, Cancer, is to not let your past overwhelm you. Two of Pentacles is a very overwhelming energy with the Six of Cups. A lot of you, sure, could have children, a family, and you're like, oh my God, I'm so busy. I work and I've got the kids and the home and the cooking and the homework and the, oh my God, and my side job, and oh yeah, my friends, and you know, it's a lot, it's a lot. Um, but here the focus is uh, to prioritize, and we get the Two of Pentacles, um, Six of Cups. There's a, either a person or very just child, uh, when you were a child, stuff like memories, nostalgic energy, 
something there is kind of clogging you up for some of you. Wow, some of you, your power is how you handle your childhood. What the fuck? Yes. Some of you are like, for example, it's like you're scared. Knight of Wands, like I'm shaking in my boots. You might be like writing your story, like writing a book or sharing your story or, or whatever. And it's about, for a lot of you, Two of Pentacles, it's like how I made it through this crazy, you know, childhood that I grew up in or all the trauma I've been through or the abusive relationship I used to be in or, you know, whatever, whatever is still kind of in your energy. A lot of you cancer are doing something brave like okay i'm gonna write that book or i'm gonna you know put yourself out there in some kind of way and a lot of you have met the right types of people and some of them could have could be at a distance from you where um the help your team your resources are a little bit at a distance yeah wow that was a really strong message and a really beautiful brave message if that resonates with you my goodness I'm hearing like your higher selves say, how can you not at this point? How can you not share your story? How can you not let everyone know how you survived something? Oh my God, I love this for you. I love this for you. Ah! What's hidden from cancer, please? Knight of Cups, uh, maybe another water sign, another uh, Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio here. Page of Cups, someone who's definitely looking at you, keeping tabs on you. You know, what is, what is Cancer posting today? That kind of vibe for sure. Um, Knight of Cups is, is definitely more of a romantic um, energy. It also can be, um, someone's going to be very emotionally vulnerable, especially where I feel like that person hasn't been emotionally vulnerable in the past. I was like, anything else on this before we go deeper and clarify Ace of Cups? Someone is super um, head over heels, wanting to do the journey with you. The word journey is coming through. Someone wants to take a journey with you. <clears throat> Hopes and fears. Ace of Cups came right back out. There's that page of cups. Yeah, you're hoping that this person feels the same way that you do. You're fearing that, oh my God, do I like them and they don't like me? Or am I too into this or that kind of thing? But no, I feel like this is definitely, look at all this loving energy. Empress, Ten of Cups, Ace of Cups, Knight of Cups. This is very beautiful. Very, very, you're in a beauty. And again, with all the yellow, um, water energies in, in general are very, I'm going to say dependent. I'm a, I'm a water sign. I'm a Pisces, uh, sun and moon, cancer rising, all the water. <laughs> um, but for water signs in general, it's really important to remember cancer that your environment is really important to you. Okay. You're, you're very dependent on it. Um, it's me, especially as a Pisces, right? So, but for a lot of you, um, what I'm trying to say is all that yellow keeps grabbing at me and keeps getting my attention. You've changed your environment, maybe physically, but more so the work that you've done from within is showing up around you where the, the, the skies are clear in your life. You've taken some kind of blinders off for a lot of you. Um, you've really cleaned your environment. I don't know how else to say that. Um, I don't know if that's affirmations you've been doing, if you've changed the way your home looks to make you feel more at home with yourself. Cancer, you do represent, um, I don't know what house you are, I'm not an astrologer, but your, your whatever house you're in, it, it's about the home. You are the home, you're the nurturer, you're the mommy, the daddy type of caring person. So anyway, what I'm trying to say here is you've done so much work, You've been really dedicated to your journey, your path. I keep hearing it again. How can you not share this with someone else at this point or share your story? Do you know what I mean? Oh my God, I love this for you. Your environment is very important to you. Outcome Cancer. Ace of Swords, another new beginning. It is a little bit more um, of a challenging new beginning with the Ace of Swords. It's like the kind of thing, oh my God, sun card at the bottom of the deck. Yes, I can't, it's so good. Oh my God, all the good vibes. Ace of Swords of the outcome is, it's, it's a divine truth. It's like, I can't deny that 
I do love cooking or I can't deny that like, you know, I want to quit my nine to five and do my passion project. I can't deny that part of myself anymore. And when you do that, boom, look what happens. You're free, you're clear, you're happy. There's where the sun comes out. You're illuminated. Oh my God, I'm about to cry. Page of Cups, hair fit behind you. I mean, this is like a new you. I heard the new expression of you. Oh, I love it. I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed with this reading. Let's definitely get into the clarifiers. Empress, Page of Pentacles, yellow, yellow, yellow. You know what's hilarious about this? When I was like a little girl, my aunt and uncle who are fabulous surprised me and painted my room Ralph Lauren yellow, which is like a sunshine, it's like sunshine bright yellow. That's really funny. That's really, really funny. I just never thought about that. Maybe for some of you, you're painting things yellow so that you can feel happier. I don't know, yellow is so significant. Bottom of the deck, I've already pre-shuffled and cut this for you. Two of cups at the bottom of the deck. Soulmate energy, Hierophant, and Temperance in Sagittarius. We're in Sagittarius season. So there's definitely going to be um, higher level commitment with somebody. And, and also the Hierophant, card of Taurus, by the way, is the teacher. So again, a lot of you are teaching a partner, a soulmate, how you did something, how you got through something. And or Hierophant is... Uh, A leader, teacher, someone who can explain and, and show others how they got through something. And it's, it might go like public, it might be big, all right? Like someone's trying to figure out everything about you. <laughs> I don't mean in a creepy way at all, or you know I'd let you know. Like the King of Swords is not here, the Seven of Swords is not here. I would totally let you know if it was a creep. <laughs> okay, why is the Page of Pentacles and the Empress here of current energy cancer? It's the brave thing. It's just coming back to the Knight of Wands. Um, in relationships, he's not my favorite. He's that player energy that like wants to have his cake and eat it too. You know what I mean? Uh, six of cups. This is again, mm -mm. this is something that you're learning. I can't, I can't not see it now. Ace of swords for me. I can't not see this message for you. You're, you're, you're getting up the courage. You're getting, you're mustering up the courage. You're getting, preparing yourself to do something brave. Six of cups that. You're like, man, I'm finally going to, again, share that story or address something. It could even be something like, man, I'm finally going to go, you know, to therapy and I'm going to, you know, or I don't know, do something to heal something from your childhood or from your past. Nine of swords. You're very scared. Nine of pentacles. Um, you're very scared of being isolated. If you do like share your story or teach others about how you've survived I get that. Like you're, you're scared of, because why is that scary? Because it would open you up to be more vulnerable and other people who, who don't know or who don't know what you've been through are going to be very shocked at what you've had to go through. And that's what you're, you're scared of for a lot of you. You're like, I don't want everyone to know what I've been through. But at the same time, if people know, they can see how strong you are that you've made it through something. And that's going to give other people people hope. It's going to help other people survive. Please keep going if that's you. Let's check in on this empress. What's up with her? Ten of cups. Yeah. yeah. Uh-oh. Five of wands. Ten of cups. Two of swords. Seven of Wands, Ace of Wands. Yeah, you know that whatever this is, it would cause maybe some drama with a certain person or a certain group of people. But look at you, Seven of Wands, Ace of Wands. It's just like a green light. You're like, I'm doing it anyways. I've already been through so much. I've already tackled X, Y, and Z. I could, of course I could handle this. This is gonna be a challenge, but you've already been through 
way worse before, way worse before. This is not bad. This is a great thing that you're sharing your story or helping people out. For a small group of you, side message, someone who you know owes you an apology for being a player, for kind of leaving you behind. Um, they have too much pride at this time and I, they're not. I'm not gonna say that they're not going to, but if someone, if you feel like someone owes you an apology or something like that, it feels right now seven of wands. Hey, yeah, they're still thinking about it. They're still hung up, but someone's just, their pride is getting in the way of an apology. It's not you, it's someone else. Strong fire, um, potentially air. What's the delay about crossing you? Three of wands, why, why is this here? Death card, Scorpio energy, 10 of wands. It's about letting something go or letting someone go once and for all. Some of you are almost like waiting for someone to come with you or someone to help you here. And whatever the situation is, you're kind of learning and realizing that you're going by yourself. That this is not about anyone else's story. This is about your story. This is not about anyone else's journey. This is about your journey. What's this? Three of Wands. Whoa! Ten of Swords. Yeah, there's an air sign. That's the King of Swords. Um, eight of Swords. Yeah, some of y'all might have been waiting for this King of Swords, uh, King of Swords and the Ten of Swords. Um, a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Someone, it almost feels like you were almost waiting for someone's approval, you know? I want my dad to make sure this is okay. I want my mom to make sure this is okay. I, I hope that this person supports me. You know what I mean? And whether they do or don't, that's out of your control. Let me say that again. And whether they do or don't, that decision that someone else is making is out of your control. Page of Wands, King of Swords. I can't make this up. There he is. They're, they, they're hearing about you. It's like you're moving on without this person. You're not waiting for anyone anymore. Um, I don't know why. I'm getting something like you've been trying to like, maybe even trying to travel or like, I want to go do this and this, but I'm waiting for this. I want to meet someone first. I want to travel with someone. Ah, go by yourself. There's something like that, but they're still keeping tabs. Page of Wands. Someone's still looking at what you're doing, even though you've moved on. King of Swords. And those of you that that resonates, Cancer, your higher self, you go, yeah, watch me. Watch me. Okay. What's this page of, um, sorry, excuse me, Knight of Wands? Why is this the focus for Cancer, please? Three of Swords. Woo. Wow. Four of Wands, Two of Wands, Six of Swords. When this came out, the Five of Pentacles came out with this, and this is like the exact thing for a lot of you in regards to a person, a partnership, Four of Wands, a Twin Flame, a Divine Counterpart. A lot of you, your focus is, you know, leaving the past in the past, forgiveness. And some of you uh, with, the, with the Knight of Wands, it's going to be hard for you to forgive someone who's hurt you here. It's going to be hard for you to let go. Resentment energy, six of swords. But the brave thing for you to do is to let something go, right? Anything about sharing the story? Queen of Cups. I was like, what about that vibe or that message I was hearing about of y'all sharing some kind of story? Queen of Cups, that's you. That's a yes. Y'all aren't going to like this part of the message, but for a lot of you, you're this Knight of Wands or realizing that you've been a Knight of Wands, that you've been inconsistent in a certain connection, relationship, or situation, that you've been the heartbreaker. That's not going to be for everybody. That you've maybe been like a runner, right? Why this Eight of Wands in the recent past? This is inspirational energy yeah a page of cups you felt very inspired king of wands 
A lot of you are, I don't know why you want to look good for somebody else. You want to make sure wheel of fortune when the time comes, when the event happens, when da, 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 I want to look pristine. I want to look really good for this person and not really for them. It's for you, but it feels kind of like a revenge energy where you want to look really good because you know, you're going to bump into an ex or something. That's not going to be for everybody. But yeah, a lot of you page of wands, wheel of fortune. It's like, you saw something, I'm inspired, now I'm gonna do that. Oh my God, I saw that thing. Oh my gosh, I have my take on it, I'm gonna do that. Oh yeah, and with the Wheel of Fortune, it's about also picking things back up from the past and incorporating them into the now. So again, a lot of you are like, oh yeah, I used to like love to write when I was a kid, or I really love being in the kitchen and cooking, or I, I you know, I've been going out so much. Like there's, a lot of you are, are coming back to you and getting inspired um, by things that you kind of forgot about for a while. And I love that for you. King of Cups, beautiful, justice. A lot of you are talking to a soulmate, someone in a relationship where y'all might be at a distance. And again, there's a closing the gap energy, Page of Cups, King of Cups. Someone over time has grown up, matured, especially emotionally. Why are you the Ten of Cups in your mind? Crowning energy, why the Ten of Cups? Hierophant, Six of Pentacles, Chariot is you. And the Ace of Swords, your outcome, King of Wands. Excellent. I keep getting the share in the story. Hierophant, the teacher again. This is you. Look, there's little like slices of cake or maybe cheese. I don't know that this person look at you. You're like, I made this. Here, this is for you. You're very generous. And that I'm clarifying the 10 of cups. To me, it's the second happiest card in the deck after the sun card in your mind. What makes you happy? Helping others, feeding your kids, cooking for your family, um, acts of service, beautiful. Hierophant, towards the ones that you believe in and not believe in you, ace of swords, king of wands. And that's a truth justice someone also is making i don't this is such an old school way of saying things but i randomly heard someone's making an honest woman out of you you know what i mean and i i say that with a grain of salt um but a lot of you are realizing that a relationship a marriage a connection that you're already in is in a better place than you thought it was because you had to change some kind of perspective within yourself. You love giving back, you love helping others. And that's what really makes you happy. And a lot of you, may, and, I, and again, I feel this like forgetful energy, not like in a bad way. I mean, we're all human, we forget shit all the time. It's kind of like, you know, you're, you're, it's, I'm just hearing like simple pleasures, like keep it simple. And that's what's making you really, really happy. You're, you love, and again, a part of this came in the um, Aries reading. A lot of you really do love being needed and that's okay. It's like, oh, my friend needs me. Uh, it's a kind of a bother. But at the end of the day, when you fulfill someone else's need, it not only of course helps them, but it helps you. It reminds you how powerful and how strong you are, right? Let's move on. Beautiful, you're in such a good place. So happy for you. <clears throat> Three of Pentacles, near future. Excellent. Excellent. Four of Swords, Hangman, Water Energy, Six of Swords, Three of Cups. The meeting that we're going to call, the regrouping, the what am I bringing to the table, what are you bringing to the table, and what are you going to do? The answer to that is everyone's taken some quiet time. Hangman, Four of Swords. Everyone's thought about it, looked at everyone else's perspective. I've walked in their shoes. They've walked in my shoes. Da, 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 da. We're all good. Let's leave the past in the past. Let's leave those choppy waters in the past. Let's go. Let's move on. Six of Swords. Beautiful. Three of Cups is a celebration energy. And it's also a major reunion energy. So a lot of you are coming back to someone um, or someone's coming back to you. 
I was like, what was over here again? They go, oh, it's going to make you so happy. Let's look at your two of pentacles is your, um, your power here. It's a very overwhelming energy. It doesn't really look like it, but it's a, it's, it's a, it's like, you don't have enough time in the, uh, you don't have enough hours in the day. You're really busy. You're really, it's like, it's like you feel overwhelmed sometimes. Okay. Um, why is this your power? Interesting. Five of cups, page of swords, queen of cups. A lot of you are saying that you're busy and you are, but you're holding that almost as an excuse to not have to address something five of cups that's been making you sad like basically keeping busy instead of addressing something very capricorn energy like workaholic energy i'm not hating on capricorns i love capricorn energy justice three of cups sometimes the best thing, justice is about doing what's right for who, for you. Sometimes when you, when doing something that's right for you means it's an unpopular choice or decision for somebody else or for another group of people. Don't forget the hard work that you've done. And it's okay to say no sometimes, okay? That's what this is about. And we talked about what's, what's the healing, what's the modality, what's the, what's the, how do we heal the two of pentacles? We prioritize, we delegate, we drop one of these pentacles. We say, I'm going to do this today and I'm going to work on the other one tomorrow. Do this right now this week and I'm going to deal with the other one next week. This is about not put to, put in too many burdens, responsibilities and pressures on your shoulder. Three of Cups, don't, you know, this is for, for people, for a friend group, for something like that. You don't always have to say yes. You don't always have to be available. Oh, that's it. You don't always have to be available. You don't always have to immediately reply to someone's text message. You are allowed to respond to whoever, whenever you want. That's the message. Damn, that was like, really loud. Okay, love it though. Knight of Cups, hi. This is a hidden energy, romantic energy. Full card, okay, could be an Aries um, or someone that really just wants a brand new beginning, okay? High Priestess is a very highly spiritual type person. Lovers, feels very new with the full card and the lovers. Um, Gemini energy in here. Seven of Pentacles. Um, yeah, this is someone, Ten of Pentacles, who has every intention to plant seeds of building a legacy with you. Seven of Pentacles to the Ten of Pentacles. Woo! Queen of Pentacles. Why is it hidden, though? <gasps> King of Swords. So someone's cold heart got warm. How did that happen? Lovers. Oh, Hermit, Ace of Pentacles. Someone thought, for a group of you, someone thought the grass was greener on the other side and they're like, nope, it's way greener with Aries. I'm sorry, with Aries, with Cancer. Some of y'all are dealing with an Aries. Also, like half of this reading is a little similar to Aries. Let's look at your Ace of Cups. Why is this uh, a hope and fear? Eight of Swords. Basically, the hidden energy is someone who wants to have a new beginning with you um, and build their entire life with you, <laughs> okay? Knight of Swords on your Ace of Cups. So yeah, you're kind of, um, I'm hearing, what if they do it again? Eight of Swords, Knight of Swords, um, Queen of Pentacles, Hermit. What if they do it again is your fear? What if this person hurts me again? What if? What if they do? Queen of Pentacles, but do you know your worth? Did you let them back in? Hmm. 
Why the Knight of Swords to the Queen of Pentacles, Two of Swords? Someone sees something clearly now. Who is that? The Empress, Ace of Cups. Someone sees you, you're the Empress. Someone sees you for who you really are now. Someone only saw you in the past, Queen of Pentacles, maybe for money or for, oh, they're always around, they're available. Cancer's always around, they're always available. Mm. And you don't wanna be hurt like that again, but this person has looked at things in a different way, Eight of Swords, they can't stop thinking about you or thinking about y'all's situation. And they see you more than a Queen of Pentacles, they see you as an Empress, which is all of the Queens. All right, Ace of Swords, why is this in the outcome? This is a message. This is a, a truth. Five of Swords, Two of Cups, Queen of Wands. Queen of Wands came back out and the Ace of Cups. There's that fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, uh, male or female, strong feminine. For a group of you, this is not going to resonate for anyone, or this is not going to resonate for everyone, but for a very, like, one or two people or a very small group here, um, this is a little bit of a coming out. Like, maybe you're like, yeah, I do like the same sex, or I, something like that. With the Two of Cups and the Queen of Wands, um, again, that's not going to be for everybody, but it's like, Sun card, Ace of Cups, some of you are finally like coming out, being your true authentic self in regards to maybe your, you know, sexuality or your identity. I love that. This message actually came out, I think, in another sign last time. And I got a bunch of comments that people don't want to hear about coming out because they're disgusted. Get the fuck off of my channel then. If you're disgusted by someone's coming out story, you don't belong on this channel and you need to remove yourself or I will remove you. <laughs> I can't, the, the, the homophobic, homophobia shit, I can't with you guys that are doing that. Like I, I cannot, you're in the wrong place. I am an all accepting, all loving type of person. And if that's the message that comes through, then that's the message that comes through. And if you have a problem with gay people or uh, trans or anyone in the LBGTQ community, I think there's another letter in there now, I'm sorry, but I don't know why where this is coming from, but for some of you, if you're just like, oh, this is a coming out story, get the fuck off this channel. Yeah, you heard me. Anyways, um, a lot of you, this is like an undeniable five of swords, two of cups, queen of wands. You're so passionate about someone, someone's so passionate about you. Five of Swords is you like fighting in your mind, like, no, I don't deserve this, or no, I'll never have this connection, or love's not for me, or I'll never find the dream, whatever. Yes, you can when you let yourself, when you get out of your own way. This is a lot of you getting out of your own way. Some of you really are going to share that story, and it's going to literally light you up, Queen of Wands. You're going to get gain so much confidence um, charisma, you're gonna, it's like, you're gonna feel like a kid again. Like, oh my gosh, I feel free because I shared this piece of me or, and other people don't have to go through what I had to go through or hopefully not, right? Mm. I love you. I love this reading sun card and the ace of cups at the bottom of the deck. Like you and someone are totally working something out. Ace of cups, there's a lot of new love and romance here. Some, someone who was really hard up and like causing drama is seeing their ways and wanting to really make room to grow a legacy with you. Of course, you're fearing not being hurt again, but we can't control what other people do, right? The only thing we can control is what ourselves. I love y'all so much, Cancer. That's your reading. We're going to do the pick a card. And those of you that want to join us for the love reading, that's the first link in the description box below. And the Cancer that won the pick a card this time is Teresa Martins. 
Teresa, you are my winner. Okay, so Cancer, if you want me to pick your card next time, make sure you are subscribed to this channel. The pick a card is only for my subscribers and I can tell on my end if you're subscribed or not. So if you want to be considered for the pick a card, make sure you are subscribed to this channel. Leave your name in the comment section down below and next time I might pick you, okay? Um, again, I love y'all so much. Beautiful, beautiful reading today, Cancer. Um, those of you that wanna join the love reading, that's the first link in the description box below. And other than that, um, thank you for your support and I'll see you next time. Teresa, how are you? I almost said Teresa Moms. Are you a mom? It's Martins. But I was almost like, Mom. That's funny. Maybe you're a mom. Got one more. Spirit, what are the best and highest messages for Teresa? Cancer energy. Sticky and glue came through for you. You're laughing now. Okay. Justice could be dealing with a Libra. Uh, there's legal stuff going on in your life, documents, contracts, paperwork, eight of wands, tower. You're handling some kind of like business. Um, you're, you're settling something down. Like there some, seems to be some kind of tower um, and you're handling it. Eight of wands, you have help, you have communication. You're, you're saying, I'm all over it. Something happened and you're like, it's okay. I caught it, I'm all over it. And whatever that is, it's working out actually for you where when it, the tower fell it felt chaotic and you're like why is this happening to me the tower is always happening for you it feels chaotic and messy and terrible at first but in the end justice will be served and um you're actually coming out on top in a situation Teresa ace of cups love that hair fence uh, Taurus energy, marriage energy. So it could be um, meeting someone new here. Three of Wands, Ace of Pentacles. It's been a delay. There's been a delay on like a, a new love situation, a new friend. Ace of Cups is a new emotional fulfillment here. King of Cups, Ace of Pentacles. I feel like maybe someone wasn't in all the way. You know what I mean? Like you met, I'm not sure. Where is this going? And then Ace of Pentacles is like, this is the real deal. Do you see how that came out? Okay. Three of Pentacles. Yeah, you and someone are trying to figure out if you mesh well. I don't know why that's important. Mesh well. Do we mesh well? Okay, it still could be a friend. Feels more romantic. Outcome. Teresa. Page of Swords and the Strength card. Ten of Swords. Mm, this is like close but no thank you kind of energy. Ten of Swords, Ace of Swords. There's some kind of, I don't want to say no, but with the strength card, page of swords, it's like, I hate to say this, but you know, it's not like the best news. It's like someone has something difficult they want to say. Why do you have the ace of cups? Queen of swords, full card. Someone wants to talk to you about a new beginning. Page of pentacles. They want to apologize where they've kind of been unable to apologize they've been kind of in denial about something queen of pentacles two of pentacles this feels like you met someone at work um someone's definitely growing on you i don't know why i'm picking up almost like a matchmaker like you might have a mutual friend um i feel like someone like at work was like hey you i think you should meet this person uh, y'all would get along really well. Feels something like that. Like there is someone in between y'all like, hey, they like this and, and Teresa likes this. Hmm. Three of Wands. So yeah, someone had to pull back and think about this. The reason why there's been a delay is um, someone might have wanted to be alone or needed some like healing time. High Priestess. Yeah. Ace of Wands, Four of Cups, Six of Wands. There will be a passionate new beginning um, that'll be successful and victorious, Six of Wands, after a time of delay. Why the Ace of Wands, Seven of Wands in reverse? Because someone is like giving into something, giving into a connection, uh, giving in is what I'm getting. Someone's finally just giving in. Not giving up, giving in. 
Ace of Pentacles for you is the Five of Pentacles. You literally might be getting money where you needed it. Um, temperance in Sagittarius season and or you might be getting an offer from somebody um, someone wants to invest in you for real and close a gap where you've been out in the cold from this person and they've been out in the cold from you knight of swords and the devil could be dealing with the capricorn two of cups this person's like very much why devil sun card yeah probably a capricorn because the energy is very good with it with the sun card um someone's mastered something and they want to help you either with money, with time, or they want to build some kind of connection with you. I don't know why with this devil I'm getting an Aries energy as well. It's also maybe an, a masculine Aries. As I say that, the full card comes out, which is one of Aries cards. And the emperor, which is Aries. Why the fuck did I just hear get all this Aries energy? Maybe you have a lot of Aries in your chart um, or you're definitely dealing with one emperor. Yeah, so there seems to be, um, ooh, the world card, six of cups. There's justice, hangman. You're, okay, when I was like, no, but maybe not a no, it's a no. The world card is about a cycle being closed. It's like, hey, we tried to work things out, but no, no, justice. There's like a, a situation where you're going to come together and try to work something out with someone, but something about it is the cycle is going to be closed in, in that meeting at that time. Justice energy, there could be some kind of documents here that that cycle will come to a close. Page of Swords, Five of Wands. Oh, people are going to be watching what you have because uh, there's going to be some jealousy here. Why the Strength card? Seven of Swords, Five of Cups, Four of Swords, the Lover's Card. Someone knows, either you or this other person knows that they're not ready for whatever the next step is. Someone might be giving to someone else and is jealous or has other friends or other romances at this time. And that's making the other person really jealous. Yeah, I feel like um, it's hard for you to turn somebody down, but it's because you know better, Ten of Swords. Like you feel like you could get stabbed in the back here. Um, Lover's card, there is a new divinely guided person or opportunity coming in once this cycle is closed, okay? All right, Teresa, that's your reading. If there's anyone else still here, I love y'all. I'll catch you in the love reading or next time. Bye.